over the last year or so, we've created lots of different videos for analytics that focused on different areas of the system, different features. Um, and we, we wanted to create a really long video that kind of aggregates all of that together. And we thought we'd save ourselves a bit of time by creating a playlist and just uploading that to YouTube. And we therefore wanted to create a, a short introductory video, which is what we're doing now to kind of set the scene and to explain the basics of navigation and housekeeping, etc. So that when you now continue watching past this video onto the playlist, um, aggregated together, if you watch all the way to the end, that will pretty much make up 90 plus percent of your potential usage of analytics. Now, there are features that will sit around the periphery of all of this. Analytics can do a vast amount of different things. We have created lots of other videos on YouTube, so you're obviously well advised to have a look at those in your spare time as well. But if you if you want a, an overview and a, a kind of a training video that shows you everything an advisor would need to know about analytics and how to get the most out of it, this is what this playlist is for. Um, so without further ado, just to quickly cover off the basics before you start um, on that playlist. Whenever you're using analytics, again, 90 plus, probably 95% of the things you're creating on the system is on this one screen. And the way I have always framed it is on the left hand side. This is where the data lives. This is where you start. What do you want to look at? Do you want to look at funds? Do you want to look at sectors? Do you want to look at filters, portfolios, etc.? So your input. And on the right hand side, that's your output. What do you want to do with that data? Do you want to put it into a chart, a table or some sort of report? The system's completely agnostic to what you're trying to do. It doesn't care. Whatever you, you select on the left, or whatever you try and do with it on the right hand side, it will simply create it. Now, there are exceptions to that. But ultimately, if you want to go and analyze a thousand funds, go and find a thousand funds. If you want to throw those into a table, go and put it into a table and the system will create exactly what you've requested. Consider yourself a bit of a designer when you're using this. Um, so to give you a very basic example before uh, the first video of the, um, the playlist, on the left hand side, if I wanted to look for a fund, um, our funds are separated into these universes, um, onshore and offshore. And they're also direct equities as well, which you'll see on here, US and, and UK. Um, so if I start off with Unit Trust and OIC, a basic investment, and um, there's all the different providers. Go and find yourself a, a provider. I'll just start up top because I'm a bit lazy. And then there's all of the, the funds that list underneath. And I can go and grab any one of those funds and click on add, add that into my list. I've got my fact sheet. I've got my alert icon, which again, future videos will cover off. Um, just a word of advice. Rather than having to find funds in a manual way like that, you can just type in buzzwords. I know my fund, if I spell this right, I know the fund I'm looking for is life strategy. Um, sorry, take that space away. So if I just type in life strategy, there aren't many funds with life strategy in the title, and hey presto, there they are. So that's a slightly quicker way of finding it. The same with codes as well. If I know that my there's an icing code or seed, seed or code of X, Y, and Z, we'll type in X, Y, and Z and it will find it. Sometimes I won't know what universe the fund falls into, particularly offshore funds. We've got so many different universes, our database is pretty, pretty broad. So if I know the code at least, I can type it in at the very top here, click on enter, it just runs a, a whole of database search, finds the fund you're looking for, you click on add and that will ping that back to my active list um, in addition to this one over here. Um, you will find at times when you're searching for codes in here, PE12 for example is a good example of this, it doesn't find it. Well, I know that fund is an investment. It has to be housed in that universe. So why is the system not finding it? It's usually because of this little button over here. Now, as many of you will know, every fund usually has multiple share classes, um, an A share class, a Z share class, an accumulation, income, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, at the moment, the system is just looking for that particular share class, but you're telling analytics you only want to look at the main show, uh, share classes. So you can just simply deselect that now search again and it will find it and click on add and add that in. So that's the basics of, of navigation on the left hand side. Find what you want to look at on the right hand side. Tell it what you want to do. In this case, just a line chart and click on generate. And as I said, pretty much whatever you're requesting from the system, it will then create um, exactly what you've asked for, which in this case, are two random funds in a performance chart over the course of the year. Um, so hopefully hopefully that covers enough of the, the very, very basics of the system. And as I said, if you now continue watching through the playlist, we'll start off with the very basics of uh, some of the features of analytics as their portfolio building. And then slowly as you watch on, it will get onto the more complicated things. Um, as ever, we'll send these videos 
Um, anytime you have any problems, any issues, contact us in the bottom left hand corner will be our help desk. There's our email address and phone number. Feel free to reach out uh, for any support.